Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 6 of Fake Grand Order. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Stupid fucking earring. Bringing somebody back from oh, girl. I mean, how soon I just kill you? Yeah. was a bad day. It is now a good day because that girl is here. But the thing, I thought I wasn't gonna win. <laughs> I thought she wasn't gonna come until episode 8. Oh my god. I was expecting just episode 8. Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing here? So many questions right now. Hold up. But okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You know what? This is probably what it is. When they were summoning her, they were thinking, oh, it's just this turn. No, bitch. It's the blog ring. The best girl. The queen. Look at her. The queen of the underworld bitches. She gonna kill them. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh. So then, hold on. Is she still, like, undercover as Ishtar, like, now? Bitch. Hold the fuck up. Can we put quotes on Ishtar's Through and right. And I'm about to still say Ishtar. Best girl.
Это с вами. Probably everything. She's so fucking yeah, I love her. So you're basically to, uh huh, yeah. She's just like, fuck it, we're going ahead and killing everybody and attacking. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, because that's my ish guy.
<laughs> yeah, you're doing fine. I don't really think you're half as, but if you want to call yourself half as. <laughs> of course, much It's like, oh my god. Yeah, and then if anything happens, he'll call and yell your name, and then you just be there in an instant. Besides, there's literally no one else in the city except you four. So, you guys should be okay, right? Huh? Um, I take back what I said a couple of seconds ago. That's because you followed that freaking demon spirit. You don't do that. Huh? Oh my god! Was that the guy that he met recently? Who was talking about the storms? His voice is familiar. If he is who I think he is. Yeah, that is that guy. Okay. I thought it was. Mm. Interesting name.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, best girl's coming. Yeah, see, see, there you go. See, it just still makes me wonder. Can't we just talk? We immediately got to fucking fight and then talk. I don't know. That's right. Oh, my baby, <laughs> my baby is horrible. I know the guy. <laughs> Okay, now just let her let her be knocked out for a few, let her wake up, and then we all just explain. So she not just kick the shit out of her. I'm just getting flashbacks to UVW now. Why could it be too easy? 
Okay, could you tell us where they are? I mean, you know, they gotta be somewhere on here. <laughs> oh, fuck. So we just gonna leave her here? If only any one of you could fly. so weird that she goes from black to blind like not really black brown to blind just like that but i mean it's good because she can hide under itra and do the things and that's why essentially but then it makes me wonder we okay so essentially because both of them are here but of course her sister is playing Ishar ish because I'm just you know what we're just gonna refer to best girl as best girl because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to do it because I cannot pronounce her name no matter what, if you gave me a million dollars, I could not pronounce her fucking name no matter what. But, okay, since Best Girl is here, then where's the real Ishtar? Like, is she, is she somewhere around here still? I mean, because something about that, ain't, it, it's a little fishy to me. Because if she isn't, then you're basically, I don't think Best Girl has been using or hiding as Ishtar since the first episode because I felt like the one who was there in episode one, that was truly Ishtar. But then now you're going to make me go back and look at the first damn episode when she, you know, relatively freaking comes in and make me look at her freaking eyes because both of their eyes are two different, like, distinctive, um, dramatic, like, the way they're drawn and stuff. You can tell the difference between both characters. So if it's been... Best girl the whole freaking entire time. Where's the real Ishtar? That's the big question I want to know. I mean, but I mean, it's smart that she's hiding under her sister and that she can change her hair from brown to blonde like that. And, and the fact that this girl can get away with fucking anything. She can get away with murder and she can just blame it on her sister. But it was weird how the, like, when the clouds came, she hesitated. I want to know about that. Like, why the fuck did that happen? I, I don't know, but still, I was not expecting her to be in this episode today. I really thought that she was going to come at least maybe seven, eight, or nine. And I was like, okay, we ain't really going to see her. And then, bada bing, bada boom, she's there. I mean, is this going to say, like, sometime between, you know, are these two sisters, like, if Ishtar, the real Ishtar, shows up, are they going to fight? Because, you know, if she does find out the truth and then the real Ishtar gets attacked by townspeople who, um, love and follow her and support her and stuff and then she's gonna wonder like what the hell is even going down and stuff and then she finds her sister are they gonna duke it out i mean it, it, there's unanswered questions and your girl would like to know i mean what the fuck <laughs> just i mean since she's here and i'm getting the medusa looking what well, not even the Medu not even the medusa lo looking the medusa person snake they're there also but then okay where's the third goddess is the third goddess hiding somewhere true because it's like you you can't even trust anybody because they out in the open you can't even trust yourself because of the fact is best girl is 
you're an Ishtar and stuff, so you you want to kind of look at everybody. Typically, God is like a little sideways now because it's like, hmm, are you doing something? You doing something? Are they doing something? It's just I don't know. I I can only really touch Fuji. <laughs> And everybody else who we met, good characters, not some of these, you know, goddesses, because, you know, they got their own intentional plans of why they're doing what the fuck they're doing. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 6, Fate Grand Order Babylona. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 7. Bye, guys!